Welcome everyone to the Tactical Tavern. My name is Tomas Salas and in this video, we're reviewing the Bull Master Folder from Civivi. This hunk of a knife reminds me of like a meat cleaver swashbuckler combo. It's chunky and funky and we're gonna put it up against the Tactical Tavern test with 25 possible points based on price, functionality, design, dependability, versatility, and carryability. Let's cut into it. Before we begin, if you love gadgets gear and upgrading your everyday carry, take a moment, drop a like, and subscribe because it helps support the channel. All right, first up is price, and this knife retails for around $66. I already feel that's a pretty decent price for the amount of blade that you get. However, these knives are currently on sale for $40. The action, the quality, and the initial sharpness right out of the box blew me away, giving it a pricing score of 5 out of 5. Now let's see what the price really gets you with functionality and design. This Bull Massive folder has a blade length of 3.83 inches comprised of 9CR18 MOV steel with a Rockwell hardness of 58 to 60. I must note how much I love the fuller ground into the flat of this blade and we'll talk a bit more about that in a minute. This handle measures in at 5.23 inches made of G10 and it covers the skeletonized stainless steel liner. Opening this pocket chopper is a flipper tab that does have jimping on it to ensure a positive deployment. After this satisfying feeling of snapping this knife open, you're met with a liner lock that does have some jimping on it to facilitate easy closure. This knife will easily free drop and it is important I emphasize how smooth this knife is. It's like butter. Now this knife is thick and keeping it in your pockets is a wonderfully designed pocket clip. It has great retention so you don't have to worry about it sliding out and it is left and right hand friendly. Now I do have to say this is a thick boy. However, it is very well balanced and looks heavier than it appears. This total package comes in at just 5.27 ounces. This knife makes an excellent slicer because of that thin flat grind. You also have a nice finger trill to help aid in the control of this larger knife. The Civivi Bull Mastiff is packed with potential and has a lot of great design elements, giving it a score of five out of five on functionality and design. Next up is dependability. Deployment on this knife is very easy because of the jimping on the flipper tab and also the added weight towards the top helps rocket this knife open. The G10 is quite smooth yet offers great traction and certainly does not shred apart your pockets. There is absolutely no movement or wiggle when the blade is fully deployed and that's further testament to the quality and construction from Civivi. Now the only knock I could find on dependability is that blade steel. They're using 9CR18 MOV which is a cost effective steel and they did do a great job heat treating it to give it that higher Rockwell hardness. But because this is a little bit more of a cost effective steel it does require a little bit more maintenance to keep it honed up for extended hard use. Everything else is solid and I have had no issues with the reliability of this knife, giving it a score of 4 out of 5 on dependability. Next up is versatility. There is a lot this knife can do because of that ultra thin flat grind and amazing sweep to the cutting edge. I have found this to be a bartending companion and fantastic for food prep work, making it an excellent choice for a camp knife. Besides aiding in weight reduction, the fuller on this blade also helps ensure that food is less likely to stick to the blade. Lastly, because of that finger troll, you can get a lot of control on the blade for detailed cutting tasks and also some light woodwork. Now, I certainly do not recommend chopping with any knife. However, this pocket knife could, in a pinch, work to delimb branches and get a fire going relatively quickly. The only thing I found this knife not to be great at is zip ties in small confined areas because of that wide blade kind of makes it hard to twist and turn. Now, just be mindful this knife is not as nimble as some other everyday carry blades. However, you get some amazing slicing capability, and it is for that reason it scores a four out of five on versatility. All right, last up is carryability. And this knife is actually quite comfortable to carry. I feel that it's really due to that deep carry pocket clip, and it certainly does not look like you have something this big hidden inside your pants. The clip also aids in helping deploy this knife from the pocket and sets you right up onto that finger tab for a smooth opening process. Now just be aware this knife is quite wide and the average person might not be comfortable giving up that much pocket real estate. That being said, the return on investment is immense here because you have some serious slicing capability. I just love the fact that they made this left-handed friendly, being able to switch the pocket clip for tip-up carry. Lastly, this knife is just fun to carry. It looks like a swashbuckler sword combined with a meat cleaver and straight razor. This knife is a serious looker packed with lots of capability and it scores itself a four out of five on carryability. Overall, the Civivi Bull Mastiff scores itself a 23 out of 25 and is an 88% pass on the Tactical Tavern Test. I highly suggest you check these knives out, especially while they're on sale. All right, everyone, that wraps up this review. If you agree or disagree, let me know in the comment section down below, as well as do you own a Civivi knife? What has your experience been? If you like this content and you found value from it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe because it helps support the channel. While you're there, turn on post notifications so you are the first to know of new videos dropping every Tuesday and Thursday. With that being said, thank you for watching. My name is Tomas Alas. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, be prepared, be practical, stay tactical.